Welcome everyone to an arena video. I'm Andromen Gucci and this video is sponsored you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com. What did you do, Gabe? Did you did you misplay against Canis there on stream? Don't tell me that. Thursday, you'll be at the GP. Mm, there's no there's no site on Thursday. The GP all opens on Friday. Oh wow, what's 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 kind of their super secret deck? Tell me. I'm I'm curious. Is it blue white agro gadwick? Alright. Four lands, four spells. This is just perfection. One, two, three, four, and four lands. Exactly how magic is supposed to be. Oh, why is this a super secret deck? Yeah, that, that's also my super secret deck. As you can see today. Actually, I don't have any more super secret deck. I just play on stream every time the deck that I play the PT. It has happened every arena PT so far. Before PT3, I was playing Esper for the whole week and I played Esper. Before PT5, I was playing Blue Ray Ramp and then Bamed and I played that. And I'm playing this. I guess that means that I'm playing this deck. Probably, right? Caron Demonio is opponent nickname. So now it's important to share some of the big Italian knowledge that they teach at school because at school in, in Italy, they don't teach us English, but they teach you a lot of Dante. So if you tutor Caron Demonio, let's read some Dante now. Caron, aspettate. Caron Demonio con occhi di bragia loro accennando tutte le raccoglie batte corremo qualunque sadagia and this is why you go to school in Italy right just learn by heart Dante's Inferno that's not exactly reading because um, Dante wrote the Dante's Inferno like, it's, it's, it's not just a poem. You, you have to read it with the... I guess I'm gonna just bounce this. You have to read it with the... What's it called? The, uh, I mean, obviously I don't know in English, but actually I don't even remember in Italian. It's like 11 syllabes. There's like 11 syllabes. So you every, every, every sentence of the Dante's Inferno is 11 syllabes exactly. Ende casillabus, yeah, yeah, ende casillabo in Italian, yes, exactly. All right. So the Dante's Inferno has been written like that, and uh, you you just have to read it the same way every time. What's so good about Dante's Inferno? I mean, it's uh, been, it was written, I should not remember when, but... 200, yeah, it was written in around 300, around 13... 1300, you know, so it's like a long time ago. And it's pretty insane how the languages still stay the same. And uh, a lot of things are like, it's just super cool, you know. I, I don't believe in like inferno religion, but I still think that, you know, the, 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 the literature and culture that the Christian religion put in the world has been, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, Italian comes from Tuscany, Tuscany language. All right, so let's... I mean, people say that this deck is boring, but think about playing blue-white. So Italian is Devil's Tongue. What's that? I just said that I'm not out Johnny, I'm not. My mother is very religious. She tried her best. Okay, I'll play Wicked Wolf. Sure, they can have this, but I guess I can race it. Mm, I guess I'll play Trashy V then. Yeah, I'll play Trashy V. Purgatory and Paradise. Yeah, but those two are less popular. Dante's Inferno is way more popular, at, at least at school when, when we study. Like, I don't believe we've ever read out loud Paradise and Purgatory, but we've did read plenty of the, of Inferno. It might just be that 
he wrote the he wrote Inferno just way better than the other two, and that's why uh, they're way more popular. Yeah, quick, 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 me too, me too. I also studied Purgatory and Paradise, but way less, right? Like, way, way less focus. Or at least maybe, maybe it was just me. All right, so uh, what do I do here? Um, the bad thing of playing Wicked Wolf and fight is that... Do I have to fight with this? Up to. Um, yeah, let me know. Let's, let's play this. Maybe they just counter witches open. I don't think I want to fight here. Some is zero. Whatever. Let's race. Brazen Barrer. So, what's good about it? You look cute. Uh, I mean... A lot of that. It's... It's, uh... It's art. What's good about it? What's good about La Gioconda? It's art. It's what it is. It's just it's just a thing that was written 18, 800 years ago or seven hundred years ago, and it's nice. I don't know what's what's good about it. Okay, okay, yeah. And that's not necessarily the answer to that question. All right, I left the prison bar back just in case we play some hasty flyers. One counter from there and three witches open is way better than three counter from there and one which is open. By the way. Yeah, toughness. It says toughness. I've, I've also learned that... Actually, one second. Mm, I think I'll let this Prison Realm resolve. Yeah. Very often you just want to suck only the cult, the Culture Familiar to the open, just because you can drain it three times, and if you draw Vraska, you can kill the, 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 the Prison Realm. Or... Uh, I should have this war. There are still a lot of different dialects in Italy, it's just that... The, the, the Tuscany one took, took over and it's not the official language. Alright, now it takes like one minute to do these things, but we're gonna drain our opponent for three life at the end of it. And it's gonna attack. Oh, okay. Edo Slash saying that that is Inferno uh, defined the, the language. Very sure, yeah. All right, so my turn. What do we draw? <clears throat> a swamp. Nice. When it goes to six, I'll, I'll just play it. I have, I have like a lot of cards that draw me cards like Corvold or like Braska, stuff like that. So I just play the lands, whatever. Egypt of Treasury, that's fine. They're gonna take the Oven. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they die here. They're gonna. Nah, they don't die. Still. Okay. All right, yeah, they took the, they take the Oven. What kind of nickname is this? Nice nickname. He let us start talking about Dante's Inferno instead of talking about Invitational Invite at, at the Mythic Championship. If you try to see Eldrazi make a comeback instead of those livers. Um, yeah, I mean, neither of them are fine. So the treble decks aren't. I think whenever Agodek is good, a format is good. Right now we see Agodek not being good and. I don't know, I was just not a fan of this past things. Uh, Alright, let's on top and draw one damage. That's exactly one damage. Boom. That's exactly one damage. Our opponent just literally died to Cat. I think we dealt 20 damage off of Cultural Familiars in this man in this game. Which is a nice way to kill a blue white control deck. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caronte, Caronte is the figure that when you arrived to Inferno, he showed Dante where to go around the Inferno. Caronte e Virgilio. I like this format. It's not that I like it. It's that I think that this summer format with like vampires being good and dinosaurs being okay were better. If you just attack, you don't need the second cat. Yeah, that's true. I did not think about that. I, I, I did it already. All right, so we board in duress, we board in Bron uh, server tops, we board in probably cinder vines. I mean, we'll see what we have to cut. There's not much to cut here. I guess my him devil is not very good, but everything else looks fine. I'm not gonna board in cinder vines. 
Maybe I can cut one cut. It wants to already cut part of this drawer for my deck. I don't have anything to sideboard out anymore. We have to cut two cards. Maybe Margaret's Raider is not that good. Mm, well, I'm gonna cut a land here. I played 25, so I think it's fine if I cut one. I don't know, some people play 23. I cut part of this drawer, so I went into a 25. No, Wicked Wolf is good. Wicked Wolf is very good. Because it survives the wrath. I'm gonna keep it one lander, I think. If I draw a second one, this is unsolid. If I don't, that that's okay, I'll live with that. But obviously I do it immediately. Alright, I put a true fable passage on the other end. I drew back to back land. That's very nice. Uh, I'm gonna play just oh, two a couple of ovens here. I'm your build. What's that? Can you explain? Oh yeah, I just dislike Pardas Druid. I don't believe Pardas Druid is good anymore. Um, there's like, the Phoenix Clare is very much played, and uh, Mahim Devil is very much played. You basically, it's just a one-shot card. It's like a Lotus Petal, basically. What about Garak? Uh, yeah, but it's another six drop. I think Corvold is very powerful, and I already played three of that. If you don't want to craft Corvold, it's totally fine. All right, if they bounce my good, I think I'm gonna suck it to the open, maybe. Maybe not. Oh wow, they bounced the food. This play is awful. This play is incredibly bad. They don't draw a card. This bounced by Oven. Alright. Three of a kind in the meanwhile. Three of a kind of a legend is not ideal. Alright, let's make a food. Actually, maybe it was not that bad. Because I put it was scary of, of Raska, and if they bounce the token, ah, fun, cool. If they bounce the token, I can't cast Raska, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it was not that bad, maybe, to bounce the food. But at that point, just bounce the goose, right? I don't know. Yeah, if you're that 5 and 6, when you have only 3 lands, it's bad, but it was a gift of 1 lander, so... I guess we're still. I guess it's still still fine. Still fine. We're 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 in this. We are in this. Final of promise. Oh, it doesn't work. It costs it costs it costs seven mana. So you have to pay nine to flesh it back. Final of promise. All right, it's my top plan. I draw trashy B. I'll attack the fairy. Silver Rock is only more than four months, so don't think they have some answers to it. And I'll cast probably nothing and I'll pass. I wanna make a food off the goose. Oh, it's a random swear. It doesn't have any meaning. It doesn't have any meaning. Or, or maybe it does, but like nobody means that way. It's just, you know, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Mm, it's a random Italian swear that I think I'm it's fine to say. Let's just say that. I think my him that was worth the effort. Yes, I do think so. Are right, the prison real what? The ceratops? I think it's fine. I have trashy B next turn to free my ceratops. The minor base in this deck is very good. Uh, you, you, you have a lot of sources for every color. I guess if you start cutting part of this droid, it's less good. But the thing is that I, yeah. I'm losing this game, but not because blah blah blah, just because I drew like 5 and 6 drop and... Yeah, I guess I should have modeled my starting hand. Yeah, I think... Oh wow, a time wipe my... This means opponent has a lot of time wipe if they use one just to kill a goose. Die, yeah! Lands, where are you? I guess I cut the land in this configuration. I was playing 25, I went down to 24. I think I have just so many things going on. I just don't want to get my opponent, don't want to give my opponent to three ones. So I'll, I'll fizzle the prison B, get two food, and I have another Bronted on the, 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 the third one to free my, my Ceratops. Also, like, what's their hand? They have, like, another time one for sure. 
Gadwick the Weasand. I gotta concede. I guess Blue Watch is pretty boring, so whenever I'm like about to lose, not about to lose, but whenever I'm in a losing position, I just concede. Alright. I can cut one Bronchodon. Bring back a Swamp. Shuffler is broken. Oh yeah, Ingrid Garcia, for sure. The Shuffler is broken, but only to you, never to your opponent. Your opponent's Shuffler is the best. The Shuffler is always broken for the person. For one person, and it's always the opponent. It's pretty unlucky. Basically like die roll, right? Same thing as die roll. The percentage of winning slash losing die roll in the word, I think it's like 35 people in the word win die rolls and 65 win the die roll. I think it's pretty much that. I'm gonna wait on this duress. I'm gonna go goose trail first. My opponent's randomized this meal. Um, one damage, picking one damage is just not a thing. This is not relevant. It's not how you win the game. You don't win the game by curse. Pinky your opponent sometimes, and they don't play that many enchantments. I already have three brutal, uh, three Kajal, there's one Braska, and three Brotherhood to kill enchantments. You don't want to have situational card like that. You want to have freaking Trail of Crumbs, that's what you want to have. I will say hello to Nino Sardinia. Alright, once again, they lead off with some, some pretty clunky mana base. And we'll, I'll do the Trill of Crumbs things, end of turn. I'm not sure if this play is nice, but I just, just want to get on with my, my things. Okay, let's play Duress. What do you have? I got Counter Familiar here. Maybe I should have not got that. Prison Real can get my Donovan. Why? Slow. I gotta get the Fairy. I think this is the most annoying card that they have. We'll play more Trill of Crumbs. Or not? I probably don't. Just play Kajra for me there. If they want to exile it, I'm quite happy with that. I just play a top lane and pass. Looking for a land here. Want to climb to Mythic? Just get fires is pretty easy, and it's also very good. That that's how I got I got to Mythic. I got to Mythic very very fast with with just get fires. But it was also after Siggy won the Twitch Travels where everybody was playing Great Black for some reason. And the matchup is very good for just guy fires. Yeah, Kota Rux, you're very lucky, I'm very lucky, as you can see. Our Sand of Storm, I'm gonna get a Gila Goose, looking for land. Then I can go Troll of Crumbs, and then I can just activate these two times, and then hopefully I just take over the game. Yeah, Prison Ring, unfortunately, way worse than uh, Oblivion Ring, as it can't hit the enchantments. Uh, I got Fable Passage. When in doubt, I think it's better. I got Fable Passage over Forest. Alright, Trashy B. Trashy B is not that bad. Opponent has a bunch. Oh, enchantments, but I don't believe this card is threatening at all. So I can just go Threshing Brontodon, kill the Goose. I think that's okay play, right? So that's an okay play. What, what's the other option that they have? I don't really have that many options. I'm gonna play Threshing B and kill the Prison Real. Um, I can get my opponent turn, but then they can have Tails End to, to, to kill. I think I will do end of turn, just in case. I don't know. I, honestly, there's like no case, no just, there's nothing. So I played end of turn because uh, in Magic the Gathering you're supposed to play instance in your opponent turn and activate the ability in your opponent turn. But there's no reason to do that very often. Yeah. Also, I know a lot of people that just that just draft and play arena have, have a lot of cards. Like card ability issue maybe in arena is like less real than like Magic Online or Paper. Get a goose, get a food. What do they do? Do they go um, Ether Gust? If they go Ether Gust on any. A Truth Crumbs, I'll bottom it, but on the goose, I'll think I'll top it. Foil cards are stronger than Gnome Foils? Yes, they are. 
Four cards make you make me at least very happy. So I'm just happier. And when I'm and when I'm happy, I play better. So four cards are stronger for me. So attack. I think I'm gonna play Corvold here. There's two unknown cards, but the other cards. Sure, they can have like a prison borrower. I think Corvold is amazing now. Alternatively, I can just play a Trail of Crumbs. That's also possible. Yeah, you know what? I just play Trail of Crumbs. Before Rob, though, yeah, they do. But if, you're, if your old deck is foiled, you warp everything. Then it's no problem. Alright, I'll pass the turn. I think this version is better than the one uh, you mentioned. Uh, Alright, they're casting a 3-1 flyer. That's not very powerful. They have Barrer. It's revealed. They, they have Barrer. Alright. I go to... 14. Then the end of turn, I'm going to... Crack a food and do two triggers. And it's two mana up for no reason. Or right, another tapped out. Okay, sure. I'm not gonna crack this field patch because I want to hold a knot on the Corvold. So I'm gonna sacrifice a food and do the thing. So, uh, which is open, very powerful here. And Fable Passage, very powerful here. All right, let's let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Okay, so I think I play Swamp instead of Fable Passage. Unfortunately, let's play Corvold. Boom, trigger, a Sakadro Familiar, trigger, draw card, Sack Fable Passage, draw card, put a counter, get a Swamp, then I'll play the, probably just reanimate a Kadro Familiar, draw card, uh, decline, decline, Duress. Maybe I'll play Duress over Witches Oven. I wanted to play Witches Oven, but maybe I should play Duress. Uh, actually, I, I, I could play both. Alright, yeah, I could play both. I'll play Oven first. Then I suck the, the Cudger Familiar draw card. Then I make a food. And then I play uh, Duress with the with the food from for, for the Goons. So basically what happened in this game is that we, we had like some setup for like the early turns. And then we just went off one turn with Corvold. Okay, so Prison Realm, uh, unfortunately I don't have any answer to it. Teferi Strong. Yeah, when you Corvold would have been good, I agree, yeah. When, when they printed it, obviously we did not expect that. Um, I think it's between these two cards. Teferi bounces it, but it gives them a card to draw, which could be annoying. I think I'd rather them Prison Realming the Corvold rather than bouncing it, because I have a lot of ways to, a lot of ways to kill the Prison Realm. Play a land. I played the land at the beginning. So this turn was amazing. We have, I don't know. We drew so far twenty three cards against our opponent twenty six, and they even had like some extra draws here. Super super good deck. Super good card. Sorry, man. The Corvold. Still not sure about the list. Yeah. All right, you play this this Dawn of Hope, but I'm not afraid of that at all. I don't believe the card is good. Okay, so what do we do? Um, mm -mm. I want to kill my opponent creatures here. How do we do that? Because I actually have to worry about the race right now. I have to kill the person borrower. What if we cast Wicked Wolf and then play Murderer's Raider on the Gadwick? I think that's the best. So I'm gonna sack the Gilded Goose to the Oven. Yep. I'll uh, play Fable Passage. I don't wanna shock myself. Then I'll play Wicked Wolf. The Reclamation is uh, okay. Sometimes inconsistent, but it's 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 a strong deck for sure. We have some decline here. We're we already at super ahead in this like card advantage engine. And I think I only worry about uh, getting attacked by his 
put in three threes. Yeah, it's it's a fun deck for sure. Sometimes I, I don't believe it's very if if, if it was good uh, good players like the Twitch rivals, the best players in the world played that deck: Marcy, Ori, Duke, Seth, Manfield, and etc. And they did pretty poorly. They all did pretty poorly. Nobody made day two. Only Seth, Manfield, and I just lost pretty soon. All right, so I play Guild of Goose because that's gonna start a chain. The card for Mila plus Witches Oven. You need like one to, to start a chain. You need one food to start a chain. I think I'm gonna be playing uh, Shifting Ceratops and Attack. Actually, I might just not do that. And just use a Trail of Crumbs. It's probably better. Uh, do I wanna do it now or do I wanna do End of Turn? Probably do it now. Yeah, why not, right? Probably do it now, yeah. So I'm gonna suck this, get the, get the card from their back, and scry, or at least, sorry, get the top two cards two times. Yeah, it's better than land, I already have plenty. Alright, Trashy B is what I was looking for. It's gonna free my Corbold if results. So it's definitely very important here. I prefer Junt Cats. Because Corvold has been very good for me. And Mahim Devil, of course, as well. Alright, so they can gain life. Now they can pay to mine and draw a card. Sure. Oh, Sethil is the semifinal? Sorry, I thought I thought I thought he lost later. Mm, I think I'll, I'll give up a Trail of Crumbs trigger for 2 life. So end of turn, I'm gonna suck the cat. I'm gonna bring it back, trigger the Trail of Crumbs. The problem with like sideboarding cards like Duress is that you can't get them with um, with Trove Crumbs, which is pretty awkward, but everything else you should be able to, so it's all good. Okay, I'm gonna stay on 15. I'm gonna just. I, mean, I could have s s hasted this. I don't know, I'm just lazy. I just don't believe I can lose this game anymore. If they go present Barrer on anything, I'm just gonna suck it to the open. Just so far ahead that I just. I don't, know, don't want to give them any edge. With the prison barber, or like able to raise me. Although it's very hard to raise me because I can just gain life, but in general. Mm, yeah, I just cast this, play a talent and pass. I think this I might just play this like too conservatively. Alright, if I should have back, it's probably weakness. Weakness sign. I'll um, make a food. I'll suck the food, gain three life, and do a trail of crumbs. I'll get a whatever. Yeah, yeah, could have been good. Okay, I, mean, I don't know. Everything could have been good. I, just, I don't think I, I can lose this game anymore. And if I lose, it's because, I don't know, something unexpected happened. So if it wants to give it a haste attack. For eight. I right, still not dead on six. The cards are familiar. Play both and win. They have five, four mana up. You don't win. You play both and something happens, maybe. Maybe they kill one of them and they'll play Wrath and I don't have any more Ceratops. It's granted, again, I can't lose it to the Wrath, but still. Settled of Wreckage is not anymore in the format, but if you play Pioneer, then it's in the format. Settled of Wreckage is actually was pretty good in Pioneer against me when I when I was playing a Blue Red Vehicles deck. Hippolyte. Are they still alive? I hope not. I guess they are alive. Here are seven tokens. Alright. Let's get the cut back. They go on four. Trail of crumbs. I'm looking for ovens. I'm looking for ovens. 
Alright, Vraska's good. It's gonna free the Corvold. <sighs> Alright, let's let's free the can I die of decking? Maybe I have like 25 cards. Alright, Cobalt, come back to play, please. Unfortunately, it's not hasty. Sacrifice another permanent. Yeah. Alright, what do we do? There's so many things to do. Alright, I'm gonna reanimate this. What if we dress, I think? Or open, sorry. And duress too, because Trail of Crumbs, sorry, Trail of Crumbs cannot get duress, but Corvold can. I have 21 cards in my deck. They go on three. Let's take one to the Oven. I'm just looking for more Oven or Cauldron Familiar here. Uh, Oven's lethal, is it? Oh, because I can't, I can't attack. Well, I guess now not anymore because I sacrificed. Oh, come on. yeah, that's true. I forgot I could have attacked with the Oven. I keep on making that mistake, by the way. Oh, Mother's Rider, your cat. That's true. Thank you for pointing it out. All right, so I have lethal right now. Okay, cool. All right, I drew that, so that's game. All right, good game. Good game. Look how many cards I have in my hand. How cool is that? I have like infinite cards, and the way I'm killing my opponent is just literally cutting, cutting. It's just, it's just pinging them with cats. All right. It was pretty impossible to break though. I just literally drew my whole deck here. I have like potentially 12 cards in my deck. Ooh. All right, victory. Yeah, Corvo just came to play this turn and just casually just drew us, I don't know, how many cards. Oh, we got 40 gems, that's sweet. Um, so yeah, this is a deck that we kind of are changing up a little bit. After we started with a pretty different list. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and be back in uh, one minute. Then we'll play one more match. Hola, hola, hola. Use Corvo as commander. Very powerful. Pretty powerful. Mm. I don't understand why so many people... I don't understand why so many people um, are playing Paradise Druid, though. Was I away for ex exactly one minute? I don't believe so. I think it was more than one minute. Alright. I, I, I prefer leading off with Cauldron here, just because it deals one damage. Massacre Girl. I, I, I don't understand why so many people play Massacre Girl. It's like not good against so many. Like, it's not good against Fire. It's not good against Reclamation. It's okay in some board state in the mirror, but like not even in all of them. And it's very bad against Leyline of the Void. I just really dislike Massacre Girl, and I don't understand why so many people play her in the main deck. And I think it's the same thing as Paradise Druid. Like, like everybody has plays for Paradise Druid, so they continue doing that. But they just don't think that this deck requires mana acceleration. I think eating land drops. Like Paradise Druid is okay if you eat all your land drops. That's the turn where you miss your land drops with this deck, you're just gonna regret the Paradise Druid. Basically, Paradise is basically our Boar Grazer in this deck. Um, in a different, in a different, um, in a different, like, not, like, this is ramps up mana, but then you're gonna miss a land drop, and the game goes so long that that ramp spell is just not gonna matter. That's what I, that's why I don't like it. Here I made a mistake, I should have not reanimated this, my apologies. I should have just let this in the graveyard, sorry. Uh, all right, I have, to, I have to kill the Gila Goose. And the way I'm doing so is uh, with Mahim Devil suck this. Yeah, I could have just had uh, one more damage around if I did not reanimate this. All right, 
Okay, we'll do the Trail of Crumbs things now. All right, so we kill the goose and we break on land. But well, Mahim Devil here is powerful. I play ADH. Uh, in the past, but not anymore. All right, I guess I'm gonna ping my opponent now. All right, here we go. Could have attacked and seen if the block. Yeah, that was a free attack for sure. I missed the point of damage there. Sometimes when I have to describe all my plays and everything, I kind of like, like zone out and I, you know, don't see some like obvious plays like that, for example. Uh, uh, um. Okay, I'll play a Gilded Goose and pass the turn. I think it's better to play Gilded Goose than just make a food off the Goose. Uh, I don't want to trade for this two things. I'll just offer to trade with this, that's it. I can block now and I, and activate the food to trigger this. That that's for sure. But I just think that's fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm never a deck at the moment. This one. I played twenty five lands in this deck. I played twenty five because I think the land, lands are very important. Like the original list, the Yama Killer version, the top four, the PTQ online played twenty three. I don't say that I add two lands to every deck, but. For example, in Legacy, I played 20 lands, Delver, and Sideboard, two more lands. And I just really think that land drops are very important in, uh, in in decks that exploit them very often. And now, this part is really awful. This part is can't be tapped, or it's a part, or it's a, uh, or it's a Lotus Petal. This part is a literal Lotus Petal here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna reanimate this because I think it's a fine attack, attacking with a college room familiar. I wanna shock them, I don't wanna shock the college room because they can just bring it back and drain me. Granted that they lose a life because of Mahim Devil, but... Corvo Jund is good, I, I don't know, you know, if this is better than Black Rain, but I think so. Alright. So if I go Wicked Wolf on the College of Familiar, what happens? I can't reanimate. Mm -mm -mm. They can cast the Kajot as a world next turn. I think I want to actually trade now. Ah, no, I know. I don't think I can touch this Mahim Devil. Sure, if they have go land the Kajot as a world, it's okay. Okay, I wanted to trade. I'm fine with that. I'll, uh, what do I want to do here? Okay, do I want to play Wicked Wolf just as a 3 3 body to attack my opponent next turn? The problem is that they have Culture Familiar, right? So they can just chump block it. But they don't have Oven, so they can't just bring it back for free like like usual. So, this is another problem is that uh, since I, if I use the Goose that way, that means that I, that I can't reanimate there, so I have to suck the other Goose. So, at the end of all decisions, it means to me that I'd rather just make a food here. It's going to be very important next turn, so I can guarantee playing Corvo next turn. Alright. Yeah, Corvo in paper is, is hard to get. I, I, I read. But I don't have many snout that in paper, so I'm not going to bother thinking too much about it. Honoring the AI has to craft the mythic. That's it. It's okay, Oko was like $60 for a while, so I don't think 20 is gonna be a problem, right? Oh wow, Massacre Girl. Mm, actually, this is not good, isn't it? This is not good. I probably shouldn't top this. Because now what's happening is I ping. One second. Yeah, that's fine. So I ping both of my opponent creatures. Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong. Because that is the Kajar familiar that also dies. Oh, the Kaputana. 
I was thinking about picking both of my opponent creature, but then there's the Calibre from Hither. I guess, what do I do? I just ping my opponent. And that was not ideal, sorry. You gonna suck it? Hmm. Oh, that's true, I could have sucked it. Alright, no, this, this game was not well played. I'm gonna lose now this game, it's pretty fucked up since I was just winning the game very convincingly. Yeah, it would have worked. Yeah, I agree. Alright, so this kills everything. I can reanimate this, but I'll wait. I can draw another Mahim Devil. They can bring it back, yes, but I could have sucked the, the, the food off the goose. I, I had three triggers, so I could have done it all. I just... I just thought my witch is always tough for some reason. It, it, it would have worked, yes, because I had the second goose to suck the, the food. Best fear decks? Maybe there isn't. We're living in the word of in, the, in an unfair word. It's pretty bad to live in an unfair word, but I think that's what's happening right now, my friend. Our word is unfair. By all means. Alright, I need a land to be able to do something. It's not only a standard, it's just the whole word probably, you know? Alright, so I'll suck this, then I get back, I trigger the Trail of Crumbs. My mistake for having reanimated this. I guess if I draw a land, I could have killed that and attacked, so that's why I did it. So by reanimating this last turn, I give up on a Trail of Crumbs trigger, which is pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. Alright, I gotta land at least. This deck, this deck's so hard. This deck is so hard. I need to play this way more if I want to be able to play this at the PT. Yeah, actually, Keeper Strike is very bad against uh, Just Kai. And this as and this as well. I really don't know what this. Okay, so they used two. Yeah, uh, now opponents turn in the corner. They got they got witches open plus cauldron. They got they got they got a cauldron. All right, drew Brontodon. Massacre girl number two. If I get land, maybe Corval can steal the game somehow. I don't know. All right, I need to draw land though. Mm, all right, yeah, that killing my oven makes Corvold incredibly much worse. You'll never do that again? Oh, I will definitely do this again. <laughs> all right, let's get, let's get our boy into play. Let's get our boy into play. I just, I just hope my opponent doesn't have an answer, he just dies to this. I guess, I guess I can just gain a bunch of life here. Uh, I think I'll, I'll just do this now. I'll just randomize this now so that if I put it as a, a removal spell, I'll still draw the card off of Corvold because I'm sacking the, the, the permanent there. And I pass. So Corvold is a 6 6, but it attacks for one more because when he attacks, it triggers as well. Hello, Profumato. Good morning. How's it going? You still playing on the limited or you're branching into constructed? Okay, so they're looking for spells, they're looking for action to kill my cursed king. I guess with the second massacre girl and the cat Alvin, they could maybe kill a 6-6 six -six as well. Still limited only? Okay, nice. I had grinding with cats all day. I thought oh this is gonna be four hours and then I'd probably be That's it. I don't really play much Magic Arena. I stream with it every morning, but that's it. It's 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 a it's a cool deck. Okay, well I suck it. 
I guess they're looking for desperately murderous raider. They're looking desperate for murderous raider here. Yes, they are. All right, forest. That's fine. Batman, it's your message is too long. I can't understand it. And I guess I could understand it, but I'm actually focused in seeing what my opponent playing right now. The other dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other dies. You don't sacrifice it. It just dies. Oh wow, my opponent just died here. That's sweet. They break. Or I guess they just didn't find what they needed. It's not that they break. Actually, are they dead? Maybe they aren't dead. Oh, they are not dead. That's unfortunate. I just didn't draw any. So this is a 7-7. Seven, seven. So I could attack with a, with a Troll King. I would play Corbolt. <laughs> That would be the eighth one. That's true. So you play Corvold and I suck like a whatever trail of crumbs. No, it doesn't work like that. Although draw a card. I think I have eight damage here. So if I attack with a Corvo, then sacrifice the Cultural Familiar. That's a 7 damage going in, and I'm still missing 2. Yeah, I think it's best if I... If I just attack with this and suck the Cultural Familiar. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, what do we do now? Uh, I can murder Raider the Massacre Girl now that they don't know which is open up. Although I can just kill my Corvo very likely with the Massacre Girl and three cats and this. Three, cuatro. I guess that needs some food. Hmm. I get eleven. Yeah, I think I'm going to just make that play of killing this play at Tapland. Mm. Legend rule comes as sacking. It does not count as sacking. I, I, I would you guys I would suggest you guys if you don't know the answer just ask be like hey mango are you sure hey mango do you know what's the rule hey mango I don't really know the rules I just don't want to pretend that I know the rules and say that you had lethal when you had it with it when you didn't have it I just a general rule for like it's not even just chat rules it's just more behavior good behavior like if you don't know a thing just don't come in the discussion and say that thing if you are not sure yeah, I go like, hey, Mango, I'm a death word. Uh, are you sure that if you play Legend Rule, the other creature doesn't get sucked? And I'm like, no, it doesn't. It just goes to the graveyard. Okay, Mango, thank you very much for sharing your knowledge with us. And, like, you're welcome. If I say, you know, people think I'm cool. That's true. That's probably why people pretend they always had lethal. Okay, Massacre Girl is gonna do a lot of destroyer. Because that's like four triggers goes on the stack. And then they can sack the Massacre Girl to the Oven. That's the fourth. Yes. No, opponent should have Araka boy. Yeah, opponent should have all control. Now they can't do it. I think they're gonna explode now. Bye bye opponent. Yeah, opponent should have Yeah. Should have sucked one of the thing. Yeah, they could have killed the Corval there. But you know what? I don't care. I just take my win and I celebrate it. <sighs> All right, so I'm playing against Green and Black. I would love to have a bit of summer, but unfortunately, I don't because it's not lethal anymore. Yeah, winning's great. All right. How could I kill it? They're too off. Not because with the ability and the stack of the cats dying. They reanimate one of the cats by sucking one to the oven and they're reanimating it and that triggers like extra thing. Because when this when the cat dies to the oven it triggers again. And then it can just suck whatever. I think. But I obviously did not do the math. But but again, yeah, I'm I'm I might be wrong. Alright. I think I like this list a lot. I mean, I think I designed this list for this matchup, right? 
I designed my list to play this matchup. I can kill one wolf for casualties of war. I can do that, I guess. I just do this only. What else do I want? Just do this only, okay? Yeah, let's try. No, because you play Massacre Girl. Okay, you cast Massacre Girl. You hold priority. And then, before Massacre Girl resolves, you suck your cat to the Massacre Girl. And that triggers. And all the things goes away, but you have one more trigger. And that, and then you reanimate the cat still when the minus one, minus one is going, and then you do it. So that's your two extra trigger. It's very, it's very hard to understand. It's very hard to understand if you're not familiar with, like, Triggers and such. Magic is not a very easy game, honestly. Especially like, they're just making it. Finally, enough, they're just making it harder and harder. I, I, I believe like they tried to make it very easy with once upon a time, Guild of Goose and Oko, because you had to do that, and the rest doesn't really matter. But now they banned those, so now you're still like all this like <laughs> incredibly articulate combo decks. Just fun. I like it. All right, the 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 the, the thing. This deck is your mango. This deck is mine. I made it. I invented the combo, which is open. No, this actually actually comes from the Spanish, right? The Spanish people played this deck at the PT arrangement. They were the first ones to put it in the in the map. Because the other people were playing Sulta Yoko. But Alco got banned. So now Jund, Corvold with Mahim Devil is actually the one that's popularized. Mm -hmm. I return to nature on my trail of crumbs. Okay. Let's get some small value out of the deal. Now you want paella? No paella here. Here only... Here only... Carbonara, lasagna, pizza, gelato. You only have those here. No paella. Alright, I gotta get the master fate. The, the, sorry, this is the curse king. Fae curse king. I don't know what fae means. Is that fae fairies? Fae cursed. Oh, it has been cursed by fairies. Oh, wow. All right, I'm gonna play more of this. Yeah, play a top land. Uh, or I can just use this now. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna use this now because I, I, I can find which is open. Find which is open. Or Guild Goose, sure. Let's go soon. That's good too. Yes, sucking girl gives you another trigger. But they had to suck the cat. They didn't have to suck the girl there. They only had to suck the cat. They suck the cat when the, 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 the girl is on the stack. They, they, they would have found the, the two extra damage. Alright, yeah, jump magic is very hard to play. Especially live, yeah, live. But I guess live you can just shortcut something you can explain, etc. Okay, I think it's time for boy Corvold. Right? But I can never, can never remove a spell up, so maybe we should just get safe with Mahim Devil. Oh wow, my mana base sucks here. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna be playing Frasca and shooting the, the witches open instead. Hmm, no, it's better, 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 They cannot go for, I uh, made it was a mistake. They cannot go for casualties of war. I don't want to die for the casualties of war, okay? So let's just kill the killer goose instead. It might be real awkward, it might be awkward, because I could have played my him devil to kill the goose and then have Raska to kill the witches of it. But honestly, I just don't care too much if they just do this thing, it's like... This thing, these two things all is not a big deal. They can easily have a casualties of war. Probably looks like they're playing the Krukis version of the deck with four casualties of war. So I just wanna make sure that we cut off their mana this way. Mm. Yes, Castor, you can. All right, I got kind of rewarded for not killing the food, the cat, the, the oven there. The one card in it only. And this time I'm gonna be playing the Curse Fae. Oh, I drew my Casualties of War. Although I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, to use it, I think. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna be playing a.
Do I want a shock land? I don't think so. I think my left order is actually very relevant. I'm gonna play Fable Passage. Then I'll play Corvold, out of pay. Suck a food. Trail of Crimes. I'm gonna just de de deny. I have plenty of I have plenty of moment to suck the um, to to activate Trail of Crimes here. So Corvold Fay Curse triggers. I'm gonna suck probably just Guild of Guild of Goose. Yeah. Draw a card. I played my land already, but it's a Fable Passage, so it's gonna give me a card whenever I want to. Uh, do I want to actually do that now? I think so, right? So I'm gonna crack the Fable Passage. Uh, I'm gonna get Swamp. Draw card or familiar. I was thinking I could have sacrificed this food to the Raska. But now that I drew card from me, I'd rather just sacrifice the card familiar. To the Raska. I'm not going to I'm not going to use the Trail of Crumbs though. Just run out of card. Gain life to the Raska, put a counter there. Uh and now I pass. I probably will will catch up this will war me, but I think I'm still in a great shape after that. Right? I could yeah, that's fine. I'll pass here. Mm hmm So I'm on 13 and they have one card left. Yeah, that's where I should have played Devil to kill the goose. I just played Brass because I changed my plan throughout things. But it's important to be able to change plan if you think that things change in the turn. Alright. Okay, Casual this War is gonna come. Oh, they don't have it. Wow, they just flooded. Yeah, not having cards like this, it's... That's the reason why I, I, I prefer this list. Alright. Alright, that was, that was nice. That was nice. I think this was kind of convincing why I prefer Junk.